Hi, my name is Sandra, and today I will be reading you my book, Calf's Adventures to School. Calf wanted to become an artist. Unfortunately, being an artist wasn't a career for anyone living in the ocean. Calf dreamed of going to school on the land ever since she was four years old. She always wanted to. She always begged her parents to take her to school on land so she could become an artist. Okay, next page. Her mom thought about this until she agreed. When she turned five years old, mom told her that she could go to school. For humans next fall. Calf was very excited. She couldn't wait to go to the school for humans. When Calf turned five and autumn arrived, she knew that she would start kindergarten. Her mom went to the store on land to buy a backpack, pencils, notebook, paints, and paintbrushes for Calf. The day for school arrived and Calf got ready. Calf and her mom went to the nearest elementary school. There they met the kindergarten teacher. After they finished talking to the teacher, Calf's mom said goodbye and left. Calf was excited to be surrounded by humans. During class, they sang songs. After the first class, Calf asked the teacher if she could go to the bathroom, and the teacher said yes. Calf went to the bathroom to put water over her body to cool down because she hasn't been out of water this long before. When she went back into the classroom, she was all soaked and wet. Everyone looked at her in confusion. But continue paying attention to the teacher. <laughs> after an hour, Cap asked for. After an hour, Cap asked for permission to go to the bathroom. Cap got up, went to the bathroom, and came back wet again. Every hour, she would ask the teacher the same question. And then would go to the bathroom. The last hour of class was the art class, and Calf was super anxious to begin painting. While painting, she was so happy that her picture didn't wrinkled up. The reason for this was that because her picture wasn't underwater. After paint class, classes were over for the day. The students went home with their parents, and as soon as Calf's mom arrived, the teacher talked with them. The teacher told her that Calf went to the bathroom too many times that day, and that the next time Calf used the bathroom, she would only give her permission three times. When Calf and mom went outside, they had to talk about Calf using the bathroom too much. Mom understood that she had to cool down from being on land too long, so they, so they started to figure out how Calf could stay in the classroom longer without having to cool her body temperature. The next day, Calf walked into the classroom with her head inside a bowl filled with water. The students were amazed to see the bowl of water on Calf's head. The kids all got so excited that they wanted a bowl of water on their head as well. From that day, Calf didn't use the bathroom as much as the first day of class and enjoyed learning in the classroom as much as she did painting. 
and that's the end of my book.